today I will be doing a product review on this pizza cutter and I am very excited to be doing this because I'm really ready to eat this pizza and I'm really ready to find out how well this works. So I figured I'd start off by um, showing you that the pizza cutter is versatile and you can use it on more than just cutting pizza. So I'm gonna start, we always buy just a regular pepperoni pizza and um, we go ahead and add the toppings that we want on our pizza. So we'll cook some sausage, we'll add bell pepper, onion, and tomato, and Janae will add some of her items that she likes, Janae and my daughter. So I'm just showing you how you can use this not just to cut up the pizza, but you can use it to cut up the vegetables. And, you know, I've used it to cut chicken before. So what I like about how you can use this for other things is, you know, your hand is nowhere near the blade. And I'm just, as I'm talking, demonstrating this for you. So I wanted to do this product review to show you if I like it, love it, or hate it. And this is the first time I'm actually going to actually be able to use it on pizza. But like I said, I have used it for other things like you see me doing now. And it allows you to scrape, pile it back up, and just cut. So don't just think pizza when you buy this. Think um, other things. Think like built-in safety. You can mince it. Um, you can dice it. You can make the items as small as you like or as large as you want but I do like the built-in safety feature. Now I'm looking forward to seeing how this is really going to work to cut up pizza, but I wanted to show you this because I'm preparing the pizza now and trying to get the toppings on so I can get it cooked and then show you what it looks like when it's all done. But I'm like, you only need one knife depending on what it is you're cutting up. And as you see, it's doing a nice job on these uh, vegetables, this onion and bell pepper. So I hope this is coming across and I'm at a good angle. Let me move over on this side so you can kind of see just the rocking motion and the wide blade allows you to really get in there and cut this up very nicely. And now I want to show you what the tomato looks like. Now that might be a little tricky. So let me pull out the tomato and uh, see how that works out. Okay, so here is the tomato that I'm gonna go ahead and chop up for you. And I went ahead and cut it into four slices just to simplify the process. I don't think it's necessary to start from halves or anything like that when I can just make it simple. So let's see how it goes with the tomato. So I think it's doing pretty good. Now again, if you want it larger pieces, you can leave it at that. If you want smaller pieces, you can just keep on um, chopping it. So it's very versatile if you don't have a bunch of knives or don't want to use a bunch of knives or you want the safety feature or all of the combined um, or all of the above, I should say, then this is a great item to have in your kitchen. So now that you see how well it works with the vegetables, you can make them as big or small as you want. And I'm doing all this with one hand. That's the other thing. The other hand is out of the way safely as well as this one. And the blade is pretty sharp. So, you know, don't just think pizza cutter, but we still have yet to see what it's gonna do on the pizza. So I'm gonna get these on my pizza and then um, I'm gonna come back when the pizza is done and let you see how it works there. I almost forgot to show you the pizza. Well, there's the pizza we just stuck in, in the oven. So once that pizza is done, I'm going to let you know how well this bad boy works. Pizza cutter, we'll see if that's really the case. But I'm guessing with the success that I had with the vegetables, this is gonna do just fine. Stay tuned. Okay, here it is, you guys, fresh out of the oven. I let it cook a little longer than normal. Um, so let's see. You see, it's not stuck anything. So I guess the best way to do it is just start this way and then kind of turn it. Let me get my glove, my oven glove, so I don't burn my hand. Okay, so let's see how this works. 
I'm not sure how you're supposed to even use it. Do you just go straight across like that? This is new for me. Now I'm just rocking and I see it splitting. Look at that. You can see the split already. And I like the rock because you can make sure you can get it all the way into the end. Now let me turn it a little because it is hot. Okay, this is real time being very careful. I don't know how they do it in the pizza places, but this is how I'm doing it here. And it works very well. I like it better than a roller. And then I'm just gonna take this here and cut this piece. And then I'm gonna turn it here. Let's do this. I don't wanna burn my hand. I'm just gonna turn it around this way and just cut each triangle. And there you go there, pretty easy. And this thing, like I say, I literally just took it out of the oven, so it is hot. And I like how you can get it right up into the edge like that. Because normally when you use those little roller ones, it doesn't get the edge. And you have to go back over and over it again. Okay. Okay, look at that. So, I like it. I don't just like it. I love it. This is the best pizza cutter I've ever had. And it wasn't the traditional roller kind. So, there you have it. It's nice and sturdy. It cuts vegetables, it cuts meat, it cuts pizza, pretty much anything. I'm sure it'll cut fruit, anything you need to cut. You can use this to cut and it's safe. I like the rocking action, that full blade gives you full range of the cut. Kind of like even longer than what you would get on a knife because you can go up and down. So yeah, uh, did I like this? Did I love this, like it or hate it? I love this. I'm glad I got it. So in case you're just joining this review, this is the pizza cutter. It comes with a case, which I also like to keep it safe and to help keep the blade sharp. So yeah, if you guys were wondering how well this works, it works on uh, in many ways, not just for pizza. I almost forgot to show you how easily this lifts out and so that you can see how thorough the cut is or how good the cut is like it cuts all the way through so it lifts out really easy like that no problem there all right I'm about to enjoy this I'll see you later okay I have one more thing to show you and then I promise I'll let you go so if you take a piece of pizza I'm gonna put it on this cardboard and if you have little kids, or if you don't want to do that typical bite, move that over there, typical bite, and then the cheese is all hot and stretchy and everything, you can just take it and cut it into little pizza bites like this. Look at that. Then you don't even need to worry about all of that. Or if you're having a little party and you want to make little pizza bites like that. Mmm. Yum. You can use it for that as well. So I just wanted to show you this. Think outside the box. So if you like this review, please share it with someone who might be curious about this as well. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next review video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.